So this is Tricorp's brand new glider we just got done for them. It's a new Kenworth flat glass. We've put a lot of components into this thing. So we've got one of our stainless steel bumpers, a uh, new grill. This has got Tricorp's logo in it, and then we've done all these little diamonds around. We've also done the same design in the air screen as the grill. Put lollipop lights on the hood and the mirrors. And if you notice, these are our mirror brackets as well. So it really cleans everything up there. Tucked in tight, three cab lights. And then on the back side, two inch rounds up the back. One of our new design stainless steel visors. That's a new design. That's the first one of its kind. Three quarter inch rounds, amber in color on the, on the top of the visor, top lip of the visor too. So we've went ahead and painted the cab panels and the bunk panels. And what we've done is we've actually knocked all of the original mounting hardware off of the cab. So there's like, if you know Kenworth, they always have the screws that go through the front face. So what we've done is we've put a, a bracket on here and then mounted them up through the body. So it's a very flush, very clean look. We've got red three quarter round lights facing down on the cabin bunk panels to shine down at night. Gives it a pretty cool effect. Toolbox and battery box steps and lids, stainless steel, and then our, our 12 gauge step plates as well. seven inch straight pipes on it with deep 90s. The fuel tanks we've stainless wrapped and put leather end caps on. And then we put our stainless steel tank covers across the bottom with our stainless steel straps as well. So we've painted the hubs black to match the truck and then we put polished caps in there as well just to give it a bit of a nicer look. We put one of our stainless steel eye panels in it with two lights facing forward and two lights facing back. It also has stainless steel flush mount deck plates with a flush mount airline box as well. Again, we've gone with four painted hoop fenders, blind mount brackets that we've designed. In the back here, deck plates flow right into the back, and then we've got this nice stainless cover to cover up the back of the frame rail. And to tie it all in, we've got a T-bar taillight panel for the very back here with just two lights in it. This is our Kenworth lift bumper setup. So it uses two air solenoids to push the front of the bumper out. We have a mechanism that throws it up and out. Ultimately, we can gain about a foot of clearance just for when you're going in and out of like fields or construction zones or even curbs or anything that could get in your way, potentially. This really, really helps with getting that bumper up and out of the way so you don't twist it up. So this is our 12 gauge customs steer axle air ride setup. It's one bag per side and two shocks gives it a bit of a better ride and also gives you the comfort of air ride, but it also gives you, a lot of guys like it, that they can slam the front end down and make it look really cool as well. It's got a 6NZ C15 in it with an 18 speed Eaton behind it. It's remanned right from Caterpillar and they put all exterior brand new components in it. ECM's brand new, full warranty on it. That's how we've been buying them. So on the interior of this thing, we've got a color match painted aluminum floor and a big tube shifter. I like it that it's a flat glass. You don't see too many flat glasses anymore. Not too many people know you can still get them, um, but it's a brand new flat glass Kenworth. It's pretty dang cool.